Alright, okay. Who is ready to learn more? Who is ready to learn more and who is ready to be big in Lazada? Raise your right hand, please. Alright, we are all ready. Alright, okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Clark Masaganda, and today my topic will be Be Big in Lazada with a design that sells. I'd like you to focus on that design that sells. Alright? Now we have set up our Lazada store, we have our, our account. It's time to post our products. And the first thing that will welcome and that will greet your customers is the designs of your products. Okay? So for this topic, I will be giving you uh, uh, do's and do don'ts for cataloging, do's and don'ts for store designs. And I will teach you, I will be telling you what are the designs that sells most in this generation. Right? We good? We ready? Okay. Okay, so get your customer's trust through design. Why do you need to get your customer's trust now? When you start with a physical store, right, you go, to, go straight to your customer and then you tell them, my product is this, my product is different, and then through speaking to them, you get their trust. And because uh, through trust, that's when only the customer will actually buy your product. Now, when it comes to this uh, online store, gone are the days when you have a physical store. Now it's more convenient. Now it's everything is in your finger, right? So you can just sell by the touch of your finger. You can just buy by the touch of your finger. Now it's very important for you to get the customer's trust. And how would you get the customer's trust? It's through designs. Okay, and that will be pushing your customer to buy your products. Alright, so a little introduction. Hi, again, I'm Clark Masaganda. I am the lead multimedia artist here at PDI. I am an experienced uh, commercial, uh, commercial design, uh, branding, illustrations. I've worked with uh, local and uh, large-scale companies before. All right. so I've been handling the PDI uh, Lazada Creative Services that we said before. We are actually the graphic service partner of Lazada. So I'm directly handling and monitoring that. And a uh, simple fact or you know, fun fact is that I really, I'm actually very passionate about motorcycles, about uh, cafe racers. So anyone here who knows cafe racers, you can talk after this, right? Okay, so we'll go straight. So I would like to start with my presentation with a quote that I want you all to understand and remember. People ignore designs that ignore people. So starting a store and starting designing for your store, I want you all to remember all throughout this presentation, this quote that people ignore designs that ignore people because you are selling to your customers, therefore your designs, the way you sell your product, the way you make your designs should sell to the right customer. They should understand and they should know uh, your, your, your designs should be directed to them, right? Okay, so I, I would like to welcome you. So welcome to 20XX. 2010, 2011, 2018, 2019, a generation where design sells the product. It's very different, right? When you say design sells the product, huh? no, 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 we sell the product, we are the seller, not the design. Our product sells the product, yeah, because our product is good, that's why it sells. But I'm here to tell you, no, in this generation, I'm sorry, design sells the product, and that's a good thing then. All right, so because we have a new platform, and we can control it. Because gone are the days of physical stores, what looks good will sell more. And we all know that, right? So when we see an advertisement, when we see it and it really looks good, immediately you get your trust. Okay, so this product is uh, new and this product is trustworthy. It's worth my money. And that's where we will hit the customer. Our designs should be looking trustworthy, should look legit, and then that's where we'll get the trust and that's when they will click the buy button. All right, so next, so starting off, uh, what is the importance of this presentation is I want you to know the importance of designs in your Lazada uh, accounts, the way uh, you, you advertise your products to your customers. So the importance of design in marketing, especially in Lazada, is that it helps attract attention. It makes it different. Your product is different, but you cannot tell the customer directly that your product is different because you're not in direct con uh, contact with your customer. Right? So though, through design, it will attract attention and it will enhance the quality of your message. So what is, the qu what is your message for your product? 
So for example, I tell you your product is a health and beauty facial wash, right? There's so many products in the market that's facial wash. So you want to tell the customers, mine is different, mine is better than the others. And how are you going to do that without designs? You can't tell them directly. You can't just put text, mine is better than others. No, you will show them that mine is different because the way we present it, the way we market it is different. And it's new, and it looks good, and therefore you should trust this product, right? Now, because at first glance, right? Imagine your customers here are not. Uh, no, they have uh, accounts through their phones, right? So they have access to Lazada, to their phones, through their laptops. So you're sure that when your customer is always scrolling, and when their your customer is always scrolling, you only have three to five seconds to get their attention. How are you supposed to get their attention, right? Because at first glance, right, they will be asking, when they see the design, they will be asking, what makes this product different? Why should, I product di why should I buy this product, right? So design is what answers to the questions, what makes this product different? How trustworthy is this product? And is this product worth my money? Of course, we've all uh, experienced that. When you see a product and then you see the picture is not really good, immediately you lose interest, right? But when you see a product and it's well made, it's well, the photography for that product is really nice, really simple, welcoming, you get more interest. I want to learn more. All right? Okay, so more on the importance is that design establishes brand identity, look, and feel, all right? So when you're doing a design, you're not only supposed to sell your product, but you're also you you also have to sell your brand, right? You have, you need to well you need to be well known, because you can keep on selling the product. Let's say you have a product, let's say Gluta, you keep selling the product, selling the product. The product is well known, everyone knows your product, but when you ask that customer, where did you buy it? Who made this? They don't know. They just know this the product is really good. But who sold this? Who, who is the seller? Uh, I don't know, but it's nice. See, through design, you're not only selling your product, but you're also branding yourself, your identity, right? So for example, when I say, think of the best selling shoes brands, in Egypt, you will be thinking Nike, Adidas, Skechers. You have that mentality, you know them already. And they, it, this did not happen through luck. They worked hard for it, uh, they worked hard for it, for, from all their advertising, from all their designs, and how they introduce their products to all of you. And so that's how uh, the importance of design. And the next is raises the visibility of your campaigns. Now, like I said, no more physical store. Everyone is doing uh, e-commerce now. And when everyone is doing e-commerce, you have to stand out from the group. You have to be different. If everyone keeps on taking product, photos with a white background, you have to be different. You have to tell the customer, wait, look at my product. It has a green background, and this background and this design will tell you more by just looking at it. It is different, all right? Okay, so having an exceptional design is one of the best ways to differentiate yourself from others. I say all of us are already selling in, in uh, online, so you have to be different. You have to make sure that your product is always different. And of course, it ultimately all right, drives the converse, uh, conversion and ultimately ROI. So when you see a design and the customer sees your design, it's really nice, it's different, trustworthy, immediately they will press the buy button. And then you got their uh, trust, and then you got your sale, your conversion. All right? So it's very important, because these people right now in this generation, they no longer want a product. That is yung, uh, uh, not given effort to advertise. Everyone wants something that looks good. Everyone, some, everyone wants something that's in now, in this generation, kung ano yung popular, kung ano yung trending. And when you uh, advertise, when you design your product that way, makukuha mo talaga yung customers. All right, so I've been giving you all the stuff about the uh, importance about designs. Now it's time to get to nitty gritty part of the uh, presentation. Now what are you here for? I would like to tell you more on to the uh, cataloging services, cataloging and graphics uh, and store designs for Lazada because that's how you'll be introducing your brand 
your products to your customer. So what is cataloging? Right, so this is cataloging. So for example, you're in Lazada, right? And then you see your product. So usually you will be seeing them on the bottom, right? Your mga products ilalim. That's how your product will uh, introduce or will uh, have an impact to the customer, right? So let's say you're in Lazada and then you see your product. Okay, so this is a nice product. Okay, so I want it. I'm interested. I like the design. It looks good. It's sakto. Uh, it's in China, uh, no, Chinese New Year, right? So it's right on the theme. I click it, and then you are entered to the product page where you will be seeing the product photo. Sometimes we call it poster. So this is the product photo right here. All of these are product photos. Okay? So that's also part of design. It's how you will be designing that part that will be welcoming. That will be uh, no, introducing your brand to your customers, right? So that and all those under that product photo. And then once you scroll down, also very important is the product content. So once you scroll down the, the product, the, the customer likes the product photo, he wants to know more, he will scroll down and want to know more on the details. So once you scroll down, it's the product content. So I'd like you to remember, product photo or poster. So when I say poster, you already know it's this. And then when I say content, it's uh, the design for the content, right? So that's where all the details for the products that you'll be putting, especially when it comes to uh, technology and then health, it needs to have a lot of content that will tell your customer this is important and this is the benefits. And these are the features of my electronics product. Now, now we all know about the cataloging, which is the poster and then uh, content. Now we're going to be pushing through with do's and don'ts. Because there are a lot of to think about when you're doing this uh, poster and content. Okay, so number one, do. Do give focus to your product and make sure it's visible. These, this is very simple. This is very, uh, this is very simple for everyone to understand. But we always, always forget or we always miss out. We skip this part right here. Because if you give focus to your product, the first thing that will the customer see is your product. Right? Immediately, they will see your product. Okay. This is different, this is huge. I've seen the products very clear. Okay, so I'm interested. Now, I'll be giving you a tip on how we do our designs. All right, because uh, when you say your customer online, you know they'll be scrolling, scrolling, right? And when you're reading, it's from top to bottom, right? Okay, so the, how we design our uh, our poster is that we make sure that by the top palang ng poster, kuha mo na customer. And this is how. Imagine, we, we tapan nito from here and down, we cover that, and you will be only seeing 80% of buy one, take one. Okay, let's say you were walking down the mall, and then you see a big sign, 80% of buy one, take one. I don't know what that product is, okay, I don't know the shop, but that 80% of buy one, take one, ba? ano yan, I want to know more, right? So from there, you haven't shown the product yet, but from there, you already have the attention of the customer. And that's how we do our uh, poster. Right? Because it's really nice to hear a 80% uh, off, or if I want to take one, it's really nice to hear, it's really nice to see. Now, it's not uh, mandatory that you put this here, but it is mandatory, it is very uh, suggested that you always make a uh, focus on your product, because that's the one you're selling. All right? Okay, so we're good with that. Okay, next is do add color and make it attractive. All right, so for example, uh, unlike other platforms, selling platforms, Lazada actually allows you guys to add color to your product photo. Unlike uh, Shopee and uh, other selling Akulaku, they only tell you to make your background white. How will you make your product different? How will you make your product easier to see when they don't have anything attractive to look at? So we make sure that you add color. You add color and then you make it look attractive. When you see this design, for example, this is one of our designs for Herbal Pharmacy, we're not only directing, focusing you to the product, but we're also putting our brand in here. We are introducing you your product, okay? So this is Serpentina, this is good for you. Okay, this is made by Herbal Pharmacy. We did not only sell you the product, we sold you our brand also. 
So when you see a design like this, you don't need to see, you don't need to read the parable pharmacy. You already know it's ours. Okay, that's how we do it. And then that's the product name. So focus right there, straight focus, attractive. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you're, you're the customer, you're scrolling down, and then you see this. Four products. Okay, so the first one, and the white, second one's white. Third one is two products, white. And then the third one is just a photo of the product. Okay? So I will tell you this. To out the, all of the experience selling in Lazada, the first one with the focus and the straight uh, uh, experience of, for the, folk, the first one, that's where all the, the customers will look at. Kasi alam nilang uh, may effort yung seller to actually make the product look good. Okay? So if I tell, I'll tell you this, all these four products is just the same. But only one will sell more compared to the others. Because of the design. It's how you welcome your design. It's how you welcome the customer. How you introduce. Okay? So the, if, if you see the product, it's very plain. If it's just white. But if you add color, which is thankfully, Lazada allows, it will have more impact. Didikit yan sa utak ng mga tao. So it's very important. Okay, so next. Do. Do use model, if applicable, to justify your product. Because when you say a beauty product, it's always important that you show that it is a beauty product. Here's our model. Here is the outcome of this product. So it really helps the customer feel at home. Nakukuha mo agad yung trust nila kasi feeling nila, okay, so it was used by others. Maybe if I use it, it will happen to me too. So that's very important. You add your models to your uh, designs. Now in, in BDI, we have our own models, so that's good. Kaya yun, it's very important that we show models kasi yun, you will get to trust them. That the, the actual model and the photos are actually using the product. Okay, so next. Add at least three product photos. This is very important. Especially, I'd like to point out, especially when it comes to electronics, when it comes to uh, uh, vehicles, automotives, yung mga ganyan, it's very important that the customer will see all the angles of the product. Kasi pag kinlik nila yan, okay, they see the product, they, see, they think it's good, they want to know more, they click it. So the first thing that they will see is not the content. Pero ito, yung first part, yung poster, yung mga product photo. And when they're buying something specific that they want to see all parts, they want to see all parts. So it's not, it's not good. I won't suggest that you only put one product photo. Kasi they will always want to see uh, how big it is, and yung colors, is it actually this material. Right? So you put three products, uh, three product photos. Also, I would highly suggest that you don't get ano, uh, the product photos from online. If you have a time, you get uh, you do a photo shoot for your product. Because when, when, uh, when the customer sees your uh, product photo is generic, taken from Google, hindi na bubuo yung trust. They have uh, they are ano, interested, but the trust is not ano, it's not hindi buo para pindutin nila yung buy button, right? Okay, next. Use clear and high quality photos. This is very basic. So we all of us, we know this, that we should always be, uh, be using high quality photos. Right? But this is usually skip. Nasi skip natin to. We just apply whatever we have para lang meron ang photo. And that's where we don't get the trust of the customer. Kasi pag nakita nila, ano to, there's no effort in actually selling this product. They just took a picture na hindi naman HD or they just took a picture online in Google na ano, the very stuff, then what's the point? Diba? So they, 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 they like the feeling that it was taken picture, an actual product taken picture, then it was different. Feeling nila, totoo yung product na uh, trustworthy na nakikita nila, and then they, 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 yung, ano nila, yung trust nila will be full, and they will actually buy the product. Now, do add product photos in the content. So, pag, have you ever seen a uh, product in Lazada when you scroll down, it's actually purely text? Diba? Sinong gusto magbasa nun? Who would want to uh, read all that? So, lagyan nyo na lang style, guys. So, this is how we do our content in BDI. Is we give you all the information, we give you a product name, and we also give you a tagline. Yung tagline yun, ta ataki kasi yun eh. Okay, so your road to wellness body. 
Okay, so did my, to, I, when I want to be uh, uh, healthy, I'll use this as well my wellness body. All right, so all the information, because when it comes to health products, it's very important you put everything here and the ingredients also. And then you have a product picture. It's very much, very, very uh, attractive to look at, diba? Right? With the colors. But if, it's, if it was purely text, who would want to read all that? Also, I'd like to point out, uh, when, it, when you're doing a content, it's very nice when you put the, the last part, or the biggest part would be, why choose this product? Because who would want not to read that? I want to go straight to what's important. So you give them option to read everything. But I'm also going to give you an option to read this, which is simplified, summarized, kung bakit mo siya gustong bilhin. So it's better for the customer. So hindi na nababasahin to, and then mahukuhita niya na agad yung last part, which is, kuha na agad yung drugs, kompleto na buy. Ayan, okay, sige. Sir, uh, Okay, so this is what's really nice when it comes to Lazada, is that when whatever size, you make, you post, as long as it's HD, more than uh, no, 750 by 750, as long as it's bigger than that, walang problema, hukunin nila. Right? But when, I want you to point out that when you're doing product photos, you post it, keep it one is to one, as in square. If it's rectangle, kakat na yung ibang parts. If it's, ano, if it's in other, uh, siya, yung kitna ng kukunin niya, makakat yung product niya. So we always, move your product photo to one is to one. Okay, so uh, for those who know Photoshop, what we actually do to make it high quality is we put it five inches by five inches, resolution 300. So if you all know that, if you know that, can Because we, uh, our designs are always ready. Because we don't only design for uh, website, we also design for big top reads, billboards, camera designs now, we want our designs to be ready to be applied and flexible to be applied to any sizes. Okay? So product photos is one is to one, square. Pero ang maganda, when it comes to Lazada, Lorikit, is that when you're doing content, any type of, any size of photo, i-a-adjust ng Lazada yan. Okay, so let's say yung mahaba yung photo mo, ganun. I-adjust ng Lazada yan. We'll make sure Lazada will fill up the whole space. Hindi yan maliit. Let's say yung design mo pahaba. Lazada will take care of that. They will make it smaller. They will they'll fit, they'll fit it to the website. And then you can easily read it. Okay? So that, the only thing that you have to remember is the size of text. Kasi i-resize yan ng Lazada. Make sure that your text is at least readable. Okay? So uh, for those who wants to go to the technicalities, whenever we're designing, we always push to a size of uh, bond paper. Yeah, so if we design a design, we make a design, you can't just the size of the paper, we can't just the design there. Right? So when you adjust the Lazada, the right spacing, the right size of the text. Okay, so next. Let's move on with the don'ts. Because do's are very important, but when you do the don'ts, it's very, you can't do the designs. Even if you look at the designs, when you do the don'ts, it's not good. Right? So don't use pixelated and deformed product, uh, product photos. Like I told you before, this is the part that everyone skips. I've seen so many products online sa Lazada na pixelated, right? And that gives such a bad impression to the customer. So imagine you're going to buy something, for example, uh, let's say you want to buy an iPhone 10, right? So let's say you trust, okay, you think Lazada is really good for iPhone 10. Tapos yung seller ng iPhone 10 pixelated yung 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 tong iPhone 10, di ba? So you see this bit pixelated photo, immediately i ano hindi mo na tutos yung yung ano yung seller, isipin mo na why wasn't he uh, giving uh, more effort to sell his product to these posters, to these product photos? Bakit hindi siya nagbigay ng effort pa? Right? So you make sure na don't ever use a pixelated and deformed product photos. Hello, okay. Because, uh, yeah, in BDI, what we do is we offer photography services. So whenever we, uh, our services is, you, you send us your product, we do high quality photos of it para ready na ipo sa, sa Lazada. Alright, thanks. Don't use just one product photo. Naranasan nyo na ba yan when you wanted to buy a product, let's say electronics, and then kapag 
Gusto mo makita yung backside ng product or yung sides. Diba? Pero pag-click mo lang